Sign on the door said Dream members only. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be making a beat for Blade's new album 333. It dropped like pretty recently, I think. If this is your first time on the channel, I actually have another video cooking up for Blade, which I made a while back ago, so I'll link it right now if you guys want to watch it before this. But yeah, today we're just gonna try to make like a drain gang beat for Blade, you know. Just something super dreamy, something that'll make you kind of float away into a trance, you know, as like all the songs on the album. But yeah, before we get started, you know, as always, go follow me on social media, tap in with me. But let's get it. Alright, so here we are in FL Studio, and I'm just gonna bump the BPM to like 165. Cause like a lot of the songs in the album are kind of fast, you know, it's kind of like a different vibe than Exeter, I feel like. Now I'm just gonna try to find like a cool uh pluck in Omnisphere. I just want something super soft. The name of this preset is Blade Gunner. Does that mean Blade X Gunna collab? That's low-key lit, like, I might use that. Alright, so I found this cool pluck that sounds like this. It has, like, a really cool texture that I like in the background, so I'm just gonna try to come up with some chords real quick, you know. Alright, those chords are pretty dreamy, now we just gotta quantize it. I want the first chord to be shorter and then the second one to be like the longer one, you know what I'm saying? So next I'm just gonna try to put another layer of uh, Omnisphere on that, you know. So while this is loading, you know, you gotta make sure you submit your H2O mud, don't be lacking. Damn, I almost spilled the water. The mode on my keyboard can't be lacking. Let's just get like a melody line going on top of these chords. I think I'm gonna put these in the mixer before adding anything else and just kind of tweak with some of the effects. All right, so now as you can see, the choir only comes in on the second beat. I want something to hit on the first beat. So for that, I'm gonna probably open up Triton and try to get like another kind of like pluck or maybe like a mallet, you know, um, just something to emphasize the first downbeat. Maybe like a guitar, maybe. And as you can see, it's a little detuned, so I just use the pitch wheel on my MIDI keyboard, but you can literally do that if you just go over here and uh, automate it. It's kind of just a pain in the ass to do it on FL, though, instead of just playing it, so that's why I just like to play it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to add some effect on this guitar real quick. <laughs> So the guitar is cool. Uh, now I just gotta add like probably one more thing to fill in that little space, and that's gonna be a pad from Expand. Uh, I just want something that has more of like a texture that kind of stands out more. Bro, all of these are so fire. Yeah, so that's pretty much the uh, basic pattern that I want to record, but now I'm just going to go back into the presets and try to find something uh, cooler. That's so fire, bro. That's so fire. That's going to be it. Uh, I just want to add like a delay on this uh, plug. Just try to get it to be more bouncy, you know? I think it's too still. That's the problem, so...
Uh, all right, so basically these are the four uh, melody layers that we have right now. You know, like super atmospheric. It's like I can I can already see Blade on this like. One and fifty just to kick it. So basically for the melodies, you know, you got to make it as dreamy as possible. Just kind of float away in a trance. Like the drums in the recent album were just kind of like, like they were hella punchy, but also not like in your face. They were kind of like subtle. But yeah, let's uh, pick like a clap. Maybe Tarzan. Tarzan's like super small. You want to pick samples that are kind of like tiny. Like, I don't know how to describe it in words, but just tiny. Like, exactly. This hi-hat is literally called little. So that's exactly what we're going to use. Alright, so now let's just get like a little 808 pattern going. For the 808, I'm just gonna make it super bouncy, but not like too crazy. You know, you don't want to make a Judson like chug the baby type 808. Like, although some of the songs on the album have a super crazy like kick and 808 bounce, you can go crazy with it, but just don't like overdo it. You know. Yeah, I'm just gonna use press uh, open hat. Now I'm gonna go into to track this. Uh, it's a drum kit that I'm still working on. I'll let you guys know when I drop it, but I'm gonna pick like some um, some cool perk sounds. I really like the kicks from Abyss, so I'm gonna try to fight a kick. And for the hi-hat rolls, I'm just gonna do it for the second part of the hook, so I'm just gonna make this unique over here. If you wanna know how to sauce up your hi-hats, you know, we do some crazy rolls and stuff, go watch a video I actually dropped yesterday I uh, explaining how to do like crazy hi-hat tricks, you know? Got the key to the city. This is hard, bro. Like a blade would destroy this beat. All right, so I'm just gonna, you know, take out all the stuff, all the drums in the beginning, and probably take out the pad as well, and uh, take out the kick in the first section, and then uh, copy all the melodies over like that three times. For the last part of the uh, verse, just leave it hanging, you know, no drums, nothing, just let the melody ride, 
and then I'll just copy this around a couple times and there you go that's the beat all right so that's pretty much it for this video I'll play you guys the final beat in a second you know if you're a major drainer and you know this video helped you guys make better drain gang beats you know make sure to give it a like comment below what you thought of it you know share this video with other drainers make sure they see it make sure they learn all the sauce but yeah that's pretty much it for me for today and I'll see you guys later peace out